So um, before we do the, before I take the microphone around and uh, give it to people, um, try and try and keep your um, suggestion as short as possible. We, we don't want really long-winded ones that go for five minutes. I think one minute should be enough if you're succinct. Um, that should be plenty of time. And um, also, someone had a question that they wanted to ask Bishop Prowse. So if, if you want to come back up, my Lord. Someone really wanted to know what you thought was the, the one key thing that the Holy Father would want young people to take away from World Youth Day. Well, I think that quote from St. Augustine. I think that quote from St. Augustine. If you want to remain young, have your eyes fixed on Jesus. Okay, who would like to go first? Um, bring, bring a suggestion. I'll give you the microphone, even if you've got a loud voice, because this is for the video as well. Hi, I'm Claire Burns, and I've been working in media for quite a few years. Um, I'm also part of the Catholic Media Association. Your Grace, you mentioned before, kind of like that we need to be working in media, and if any young Catholics have a heart for media as well too. Please contact me. We've also got Anthony Crone here, and Anna Crone also does a lot of great work. Um, there is a lot that we can do. I've been working in suicide prevention just for the past 12 months, but in health for a while. You don't have to be working exclusively in media, but we have a lot, a lot of work to do, and the time is now to be providing an alternative voice. People are searching for it. We have conversations with people who aren't... Uh, they're just on the journey, and we're all on the journey, but we have a legitimate voice that we we have a right to offer to other people as well too. So I'd encourage anybody, if they work in media or have an inkling that they want to work in media as well too, please contact me or Anthony Crone, give me your email address. It's a loose association, it's a fraternity, so yeah. That's wonderful. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> Further to that point that Claire just made, I'm, I'm, I'm Neil, by the way, Neil de Cruz. Um, we need to be better trained in terms of what the church teaches and more importantly why the church teaches what it does, just to defeat the secular assumptions that everyone's brought up with and the fact that you know, the no, no to Pope Coalition gets a lot, a lot more coverage than you know, some, some of the, the church organisations. Basically, we need the equivalent of a, a Catholic Walid Ali or Walid Ali's long -hit who can be that Catholic voice. Is there anyone else? Hello there. My name's Chris. I'm representing the House of Christ. Beautiful lady in the who is fairly well represented. Uh, we just had two questions, or maybe two suggestions slash questions. Firstly, being from Gordon, and uh, the problem that we have is we might be, I don't know what the bird was that was flapping fairly quickly rather than soaring. What we found is we probably, we have a really good youth group there, uh, but we find that maybe we're just you know, one step ahead of the youth in our formation in the church, and we're probably wondering if there's some sort of material or resources out there that's really, you know, solid and as close uh, to the faith as possible that we could use in our formation as youth leaders. That's question number one. Question number two was... We have forgotten. However. <laughs> <laughs> we will come back later. <laughs> Okay. Um, now, for that, for that question that Chris has got, I, I could certainly uh, give you your answers there, but if anyone would like to try their hand at it. Hello, I'm Angela the Conga. I went to World Youth Day and supported Jason and Christalina Ebert from Catholic Answers. And I wasn't, after what Bishop Browse had mentioned about Bishop Costello starting the Archdiocese, I was going to just not talk about this and take this away and take it to Tiffany. But having your question about um, catechesis for youth ministry and young people, there's this um, Theology of Body for Teens, which has been written by Jason Christina Everett. It's got its uh, DVD, a parent's guide to go with the students, a student workbook and a teacher's workbook. And it's actually not a qualified teacher.
teach it, you as a you could learn it and then take it out to your own young people. And it's just a new thing, not even in the Catholic bookshop here in Melbourne, but the um, Catholics in Kuala Lumpur, Foreign World Youth Day, are actually holding a weekend on this, 40 World Youth Day pilgrims, and I believe some in other countries of the world. So things like that which we could be doing here. That's wonderful. Thanks, Angela. Both of them great for that. I went and saw Jason and Kristalina ever talk in Sydney and they were unbelievable. So it's a terrific, it's a terrific resource. And if anyone wants to see Angela, go ahead. Hi, uh, Rowan Smith. Uh, I'm involved in uh, music ministry at, uh, at 6.30 Holy Hour Cathedral. Uh, and I think that one thing that we really do need to do in the wake of World Youth Day is so many of us saw some amazing music ministry going on there. I think that music is a fantastic uh, tool for evangelisation. In our parishes, we see, we, we see some parishes where there's really an amazing youth ministry going on. And I think that that's, that's the sort of thing that we actually need to be able to encourage in, in parishes. But the problem is, we've got a lot of people who actually are... Uh, who, who have musical talents and maybe maybe lack the uh, maybe lack the confidence to be able to uh, to feel that they actually can step forward and um, and contribute to music ministry within their parishes. I think that what we need to actually do is perhaps to to um, to form some sort of network of support for music ministry across the archdiocese. Now I've been talking to a number of the uh, musicians around the place and. And maybe that's the sort of thing that we need to, to start to, uh, to organise is maybe some workshops. Maybe some, we, a few years ago we ran a musician's breakfast, which was just a fantastic um, way for people to share ideas for the songs, whether it was for songwriting, whether it was for, whether it was for selecting appropriate songs for, for their parish masses, that kind of thing. But I think that we do need to uh, really encourage music and make sure that people do have the tools to be able to provide an appropriate, strong, very youthful and a very evangelical um, outreach to, because it's, you know, that's the sort of thing that we need to be able to do to, to be able to, to, to really reach out to you, because that is the sort of thing that actually will be drawing people to, to, to parishes who are deeper involved in the church life. That's a great suggestion, Rowan. So I'm using Hello, I'm Nina. Um, a few of us thought that we'd like to mention adoration and personal prayer and holiness as something that we can do to um, pull on from this experience because we felt that if we don't have that relationship with our Lord to begin with, how can we really pass on what it is we need to be? So we felt that going to adoration, promoting adoration, setting up adoration in your parish, and having a prayer life as, um, as we should, you know, as young Catholics, being close to our Lord and, um, and Mary. So we thought that that would be a really good way to start um, being united to Him that way. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm.